So, hey guys, I'm not entirely sure how this video is gonna, like, turn out. To be honest, I have a bit of a problem and I think Cupcake could possibly... Oh, sorry if you can hear any noise, she's in there at the moment. I think Cupcake could possibly have mites and there are things in her cave. I was literally just about to get in bed and relax. It's like sometime in the afternoon and I went to the post office today. I did my usual stuff sent off orders and all of that and then I came back home, once orders are shipped, had lunch and then I was like yeah I'm gonna get in bed and relax and Cupcake was awake, she went to go and have a drink of water and the stand where her water is was all sort of wet so I moved the bed in a little bit because sometimes those water bottles do leak um, so I moved the bed in a little bit um, to see how bad it was and then I saw things crawling in the cage and I was like oh my god this is disgusting so I'm gonna need to obviously deep clean her cage which was what I was gonna do anyway um so I do have these two bedding because I was gonna clean it out this week anyway which is why I bought the bed in. I actually bought the wrong size of this tumble fresh um I was supposed to get the bigger bag but I accidentally ordered the smaller bag my plan was to clean out uh cupcakes cage of her slight theme but obviously now I've discovered that she could possibly have mites and there might be mites in the cage um I'm I'm not really gonna bother about giving her a theme i just want to get the cage clean and if cupcake does have mites then she's gonna have to go to the vet or i'm gonna have to see if there's any like treatment that i can order but the ones i had seen so far were for syrian hamsters um like the animal has to weigh over i think either 300 or 500 grams for some of them and um obviously a russian dwarf hamster they don't even weigh like a hundred grams i don't think they only weigh about 50 something grams the cupcake is currently in this carrier um she sleep at the moment she does have a hideaway in there but I, I don't know why she's sleeping there and she's got a whimsy's chewing it oops i woke her up sorry cupcake oh no hello do you have mites if you do then that's not very good and you might have to go to the vet so i'm just going to leave her in there until i clean out the cage it's cashmere's cage at the moment she has a halloween theme and it looks incredible um i posted a picture on instagram like four days ago and it has over a thousand likes which is crazy so my pictures only normally get about four to five hundred thousand likes is just insane here's cupcake's cage it's made up of three different um substrates so here we've got like this soil stuff then we've got aspen and then tumble fresh the area where I found the bugs like I just moved the wood shavings and then I saw them walking but the thing that's going to be a bit of a pain is that I might need to chuck some of these wooden items away I'm entirely sure what I'm going to be doing just yet um because obviously I want to get rid of those things wherever they are I don't actually know if the thing in the cage is actually mites but I'm just saying that they could possibly be mites um but they might not be mites if that makes any sense so I feel like a lot of the items in the cage I have to chuck away which will be really sad because there is a bunch of wooden items in there but things like her rock house that can easily be cleaned um but yeah I'm just gonna have to take everything out the bedding isn't gonna be as full because obviously I don't have um the big bag of the tumble fresh this is honestly not a fun time um but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on cleaning this cage I'm not really sure how much of it I'm gonna actually film because I just want to get it over and done with and I was actually debating whether I was gonna film or not but I thought I might as well just update you guys on what is going on because I'm like like stressing and it might be useful for some of you. I've never had a problem with things like this in the past. So I just filled up one whole bag of bedding. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this outside my front door and then I'm going to take the bins down once I finish cleaning. So I just thought I would update you guys quickly. So Cupcake has an appointment at the Vets tomorrow at 10.45 I think. So at 10.45 tomorrow morning so that way she can go and get checked out and I can see what medication I need for her because I believe she has red mites because I was checking her fur earlier and there's like little red dots on there. What I think I'm going to do is completely empty this cage, uh, wipe it down and then I'm going to get out my bin cage. So she'll probably stay there for, I don't know, maybe a week or two. I have to find somewhere to actually put that in my room. Once I finish cleaning the detail, I'm going to set up the bin 
chicken cage put some bedding and stuff in there and then that's where she's going to be living for a little while you can see i'm almost done i've just tried to scoop all the bed into this area and scoop it up and then pop it into this pets at home bag and these items over here are the ones that i think i'm going to keep um i believe there is actually a way to keep uh, wooden items like to disinfect them and stuff the others I thought I would just chuck away one of them was like riddled with whatever those things were there was literally running all over it but um, I had to look at these ones quite closely and they seemed to be fine I brushed them off and everything cupcakes awake at the moment here she is at the moment she seems pretty content in there but I'm going to try and hurry up so I can actually get her in the bin cage so she has a lot more space <laughs> I thought I would really quickly update you guys. So I posted some stuff on my Instagram stories and I asked like, is there any way I can sanitize some of the products? Um, because I know there's some that I definitely want to get rid of which are outside my front door waiting to go to the bin. And there's a couple of items that I do want to keep. So some people have said that I can boil them or I can put them in the oven. So I'm going to place some of the items in the oven and I watched Erin's video on how to do that. Um, and I'm going to soak the plastic and the resin items items in a basin in a bath with some soap in there those are pretty easy to disinfect it's things like wood and stuff that you want to be most careful with so as you can see the cage is nice and empty so i've like disinfected it and if you're wondering why there's all of these cardboard bits i get quite a few questions on these it's because um it's so that it can hold the weight of the cage So the second batch of items are in the oven now, so I'm just going to set a timer for 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort through these baskets and then I'm going to go ahead and empty this container, which is my old bin cake. organizing all of the bins so this one still has cleaning stuff this one still has wooden stuff this one has pet shop items and this one i'm going to use to put the wooden items in So good morning, it's now the next day. Um, so Cupcake has a vet appointment today at 10.45. So I need to get Cupcake's carrier ready and I need to put her in it. She's sleeping at the moment, so I'm gonna have to gently wake her up and pop her in a carrier because we do need to go to the vet. So here's the bin cage I set up for her yesterday. It's just a temporary cage. She'll be back in a detolf eventually, but I'm just gonna be keeping her in here for now. So I've given her a food dish. There was food in there, but she's taken most of it out. It has this little hideaway. She has this pink wheel, which she was running on a lot last night. Uh, she has this water bottle and it's a hideaway around the side. She can go in there and she's just sleeping in this pink igloo, which I filled with tissue. And she has her whimsy. Should have left out already i've literally given myself about an hour to get there it's not too far but obviously i have to get on the bus and i have to walk and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and get my shoes on now so we are both ready to go out now um hopefully the vets goes well i'll catch up with you guys properly once i'm back home The 
vet checked her over she said she doesn't feel like she has mites um but mites have like a 10 day period from egg to adult um and she said that i could either give her some treatment there and then or i can just like not give her treatment because she feels like she didn't have any like mites or anything like that I said to her if she could give cupcake the treatment obviously if she has like eggs on her um they would eventually hatch after 10 days so the lady gave her a treatment i forgot what it was called but it was a spot on treatment and it goes at the back of the neck it was just one tiny little drop um and that was it really cupcake was really good she didn't scream she didn't bite she was just chill hopefully cupcake will be back in her cage in no time i'm gonna say about two weeks from now she should be back in the detox cupcake is still in the carrier um i'm not sure if she's sleeping or awake uh i think she's yeah she is awake hello as you can see she's got like a wet patch on the back of her head which is where the treatment was put yeah so this is where the treatment goes at the back of the neck so she can go back in her cage now off you go let's put her hide away back there's a lot of extra tissue so i'm going to sort that out in a bit and i'm going to give her a treat and she can have her whimsies back as well so one thing i need to do today is order myself a new ideal or sweden case i've been meaning to do it for the past four days but today i really want to order a new case i'm not sure which one i'm going to go for there was this really nice marble one i wanted but they don't seem to do that particular one um at the moment i'm gonna have a look today but that was the one i really really wanted to get if you want to keep up to date with cupcakes progress i will be posting things on instagram to keep everyone up to date with how she's doing and that so i still need to clean out her carrier she's gone back to sleep at the moment so she's pretty chilled in there i am gonna end this vlog here so if you guys enjoyed watching it then give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in my next video so bye for now